Is air pollution bad for human health? Yes, of course it is. Everybody knows that. But to what extent does air pollution harm population health? Finding an answer to this question is not as simple as to the first one. Hmm. In this video, we will demonstrate a scientific method that can help us to find an answer. This method is called environmental burden of disease. To apply this method, we first need to know the concentration of pollutants in the air, such as the concentration of particulate matter or nitrogen dioxide. The higher the concentration of the pollutants, the more we inhale. The pollutants we inhale can damage the cells in our lungs and harm their function. Some pollutants are so small that they can even pass through the lungs and get into our blood, causing damage to the cells of our cardiovascular system. These processes can lead to severe diseases like asthma, lung cancer, cardiovascular diseases, or even death. Next, we will select one of these diseases, lung cancer, and calculate how many healthy life years were lost due to this medical condition in Germany in the year 2009. For this, we will use the following formula. The YLLs, which represent mortality by counting the years lost due to premature death caused by the selected disease, are added to the YLDs, which represent morbidity by counting years lived with the selected disease. The sum of these years results in the so-called DALIs, the Disability Adjusted Life Years. A DALI represents a lost healthy life year. And what does this mean in detail? YLL stands for Years of Life Lost Due to Premature Mortality. These are the years lost if a person dies before reaching an average life expectancy. For a person living in Germany, the life expectancy is on average 81 years. If a person dies due to lung cancer before reaching this age, for example at age 50, she or he loses 31 life years. The YLLs are estimated for all deceased people at a certain age, so if 400 people die at the age of 50 due to lung cancer, we multiply 400 people by 31 years which results in 12,400 life years lost. Then, at the age of 51, 415 people die from lung cancer, resulting in 12,450 YLLs. We repeat this calculation for all people who died in 2009 due to lung cancer, and finally add these values up. For Germany, this adds up to about 649,300 life years lost due to lung cancer. These are the YLLs. Let's go back to the formula and look at the second part of the DALIs, the YLDs. These stand for years lived with disability. As we do not live in full health throughout our entire lives, the YLDs represent the years lived with health restrictions. Let's see how to calculate the YLDs. First, we need to know how many people suffered from lung cancer in the year 2009. In Germany, this were 30,662 people. Unlike mortality, the years lived with the disease are not counted as a full loss of life years. Diseases vary in their impact on health. Therefore, the years lived with the disease are multiplied with a factor that represents the severity of that disease. Every disease has its own weighting factor, called disability weight. Disability weights are anchored on a scale between 0 and 1. 0 stands for full health and 1 is a state comparable to death. Years of life lost due to premature death are therefore weighted at 1 and years lived with a disability are weighted with a value below 1. For example, treated asthma has a disability weight of 0.02 and is not as severe as lung cancer, which has a disability weight of 0.29. With these numbers, we are able to quantify the YLDs. 
the number of people suffering from lung cancer in Germany in 2009, 30,662, is multiplied by the disability weight for lung cancer, 0.29, resulting in about 8,900 YLDs. Adding YLDs and YLLs together yields DALIs, the number of lost healthy life years. This means that in Germany, nearly 658,200 life years were lost in 2009 due to lung cancer. But not all of these DALIs are attributable to air pollution. We know that smoking and asbestos can cause lung cancer. There are also further currently unknown causes of lung cancer. In order to find the share attributable to air pollution, broad studies across a population are conducted. These assessments are so-called epidemiological studies. In our example, people who are exposed to higher concentrations of the air pollutant particulate matter are compared to people who are exposed to lower concentrations. In these studies, the number of people who develop lung cancer are observed. Based on these statistics, we can quantify the risk for developing lung cancer when a certain concentration of particulate matter is in the air. Together with the information about how many people in Germany are exposed to these concentrations, we can quantify what percentage of the DALIs are attributable to particulate matter. For lung cancer, this accounts for about 19% of the lost healthy life years. This percentage is multiplied with the DALIs, estimated for lung cancer, which then shows that in Germany in 2009, 125,100 DALIs were lost due to lung cancer resulting from air pollution. So we found an answer to the question, to what extent air pollution harms population health and can see that air pollution is a considerable threat to population health. By using this method, not only can the effects of air pollution on health be quantified, the impact of noise or mold can also be quantified and compared to each other. Likewise, the burden of disease due to behavioral risk factors such as unhealthy diets or smoking can be quantified. The DALIs enable comparisons of different diseases and risk factors by using one measurement unit that combines mortality and morbidity effects. Furthermore, the changes of the disease burden over a period of time can be assessed. This information can be used to support political decision-making. For example, it can be used to quantify how policy decisions like financial support for electric vehicles or investing in cycling-friendly cities impact population health.